on their first day, they'd be writing production software that would be going out the following weekend. One of the strongest teams that I worked on was, was when we were building the, the financial exchange. I was hired as the head of software development. We did pair programming, we did acceptance test driven development, test driven development, full blown continuous delivery all the way through. And the CTO would be the last interview for anybody that was coming to the technical team. And one of the things that I always said to everybody is say, we do test driven development, pair programming and continuous delivery you probably never heard of some of those things. And that doesn't matter, but if you don't want to do those things, don't come and work here. If you don't know how to do it, that's fine, because we can teach you. So we bring people in who'd not done it before, but were open-minded enough to give it a go. They'd sit down as part of a pair, and on their first day, they'd be writing production software that would be going out the following weekend. It's a fast way of getting juniors to not be juniors. It's a fast way of getting new people to acclimatize to our software much faster than anything that I've seen before. There are certainly some costs to techniques like pair programming. I think that the benefits so dramatically outweigh the costs. So is the value really hitting some arbitrary schedule or is it producing great software as fast as humanly possible? I think the second one's much more valuable than the first one.